The benchmark results paint a clear picture in this regard. The Galaxy A13 achieves 512 points in 3 DMARC and 156 points in Geekbench, Single Core, and 582 points, Multi Core. Although the anything but strong performance causes occasional stutters, the battery in turn benefits from it. The combination of the 5000 mAh battery capacity and the battery saving processor performance ensures an amazing stamina. Thus, you can easily get over a day with the Galaxy A13 and probably beyond that in most cases. The camera, a quadruple camera works on the back of the Samsung Galaxy A13. This is made up of the main camera, 50 megapixels, ultra-wide angle camera, 5 megapixels, macro camera, 2 megapixels, and depth camera, 2 megapixels. Samsung Galaxy A13 Review Conclusion those who decide to buy the Samsung Galaxy A13 should not expect miracles, of course. This is a low-budget smartphone where you have to make compromises. On the plus side, it has a long-lasting battery and a good camera. Samsung has also improved the screen's sharpness with a higher resolution compared to the predecessor. Unfortunately, the LCD panel cannot guarantee high contrast content and also lags behind in terms of color vibrancy, especially compared to its OLED counterparts. The processor's performance also shows clear deficits in everyday use. However, those who do not mind occasional stutters will not have any problems with that. The 2023 Kia Nero is a cool-looking crossover. We are pretty sure that Kia will be making the most radical-looking cars in the electrified universe. The Kia EV6 looks dope and in their current portfolio of hybrid cars, the likes of Kia Sportage and Kia Sorento have been redesigned drastically to match the company's, opposites united, design philosophy. Frankly, we were avoiding these Kias before the design overhaul for looking mundane. And one such mundane offering was the Kia Nero. Ever since its inception in 2017, the Nero has been rather boring. Well, that changes now with the all-new second general US spec 2023 Nero that was unveiled at the 2022 New York Auto Show. The new Nero is made in the image of the Kia Haba Nero concept that was showcased in 2019. The 2023 Nero's interior also takes a lesson or two from the EV6 interior along with utilizing sustainable materials. Technology takes the front row with loads of connectivity and safety features making the list desirable. The 2023 Nero carries forward the hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and all-electric iterations from last year, but with notable tweaks. The all-new 2023 Kia Nero shows us that the future can be both sustainable and desirable. Haba Nero vibes with a play of contrast and opposites. This is one of the steepest design overhauls we have come across. The first-gen Nero was simple and boring to be precise, and it wasn't a bummer as a hybrid was never seen as an exciting vehicle till recently. But with the all-new second-gen makeover, Kia has injected a youthful elixir into this crossover. The 2023 Nero is built on Kia's, opposites united, design philosophy. As per Kia, it blends, inspiration from nature with aerodynamic refinement. Also, the crossover has grown about an inch in every direction, which now makes it way above its, compact, class. The coolest design cue is the Audi R8 type contrasting panel that is slapped onto the rear third quarter. It is called the, Aeroblade, accent panel that can be painted in a slew of contrasting shades to add more drama to the sleek design. The basic design language is taken right off the Kia Haba Nero concept. The automaker has done an impressive job in retaining a lot of the concept's design cues. The front fascia is highlighted by a radically designed projector headlamp setup, and the taillights are boomerang-shaped. It can also be had with 18-inch optional wheels on the hybrid and PHEV models, inspired by the Haba Nero concept. Trio of efficient powertrains including a 253 mile EV. The 2023 Kia Nero continues to be offered as a hybrid or all-electric. The standard iteration will be a hybrid packing in a 1.6-liter inline-four motor coupled to a 32 kilowatts electric motor churning out a combined 139 horsepower and 195 pound-feet of torque. This layout remains unchanged from last year and returns a combined 53 mpg.